This is Tim and Karen Titus from Stampin' on the Back Porch. We are doing our podcast that's about creativity, card making, and life. I used to think that giving gift cards was just something you did if you couldn't think of anything better as kind of a last minute idea. It meant you just couldn't come up with an idea, so you give a gift card. But did you know the gift cards are actually the number one requested gift? 80% of people received at least one gift card last year. And this and year... 50% of them actually redeemed them. <laughs> this is true. This year in the land of COVID, people are doubling the number of gift cards they are buying this year. A lot of people said that 40% of the gifts they bought this year would be spent on gift cards. Also, because COVID, we aren't traveling as much. We aren't getting together and doing the gift opening together. So... People are thinking it's just easier to get and send, put it in a nice Christmas card, send a gift card. It's totally, totally changing this. So today I thought we would talk about why gift cards are actually often the perfect gift. They're easy. <laughs> They're easy. That, that is one of them right there. You like getting gift cards. Yeah, I do. I do. I love Starbucks gift cards. I just... I go and we got a bunch of gift cards last we year. We did. We did. And it was just so fun to have them in your... Tim and Carolina's wallet and we go out to eat and then you're thinking about the person that gave them mm-hmm. to you it's, it's really a win-win and I thought that was just really fun to be able to do that so I think that that's a really good thing one of the first thoughts that came to my mind is that you're guaranteeing that people are going to like the gift <laughs> as you think about sometimes if you've gotten something that you feel like needs to be on display but it's not your style and they might come over and see it well I guess that doesn't wash anymore <laughs> but you know we don't need to add to the clutter most of us are trying, like us, to declutter our lives, get rid of the extra clothes, all the extra stuff. So, you know, giving a gift card, that's not going to happen. <laughs> You're not adding to the clutter. <laughs> also, I love that they can be really practical. I think at this point in time, so many people have lost jobs, are experiencing hardships. If you give a gift card and they use it on to help with their food, I think that's a, a perfect gift. I think, uh, you know, like a Target gift card is perfect because it'd be, mm-hmm. you could use groceries, you could buy socks, whatever. Yeah. I think it's great. The other thing that I think is really special right now is if you can give gift cards from small businesses Mm -hmm. and from some restaurants, even though it will be the the takeout, but just to encourage small businesses that are really struggling so you can make a difference for them and provide a really fun time for the people that you're giving the gift. I also think people get to choose. If they want to go out to dinner or a movie, how fun is that? Or if they want to go shopping and buy that little kitchen gadget this would be tim that would be fun if you're just wandering in a store Mm -hmm. and it's nothing you would ever choose to spend money on but well you know it's a gift it's like oh i can treat myself and try something you know that's really Mm -hmm. fun and no one else could probably pick out what that item would be and the other the other thing is you can combine that you can put it towards something larger that you've been wanting you can combine gift cards or you can add the other cash you just have so many opportunities with it i think when you give a generic gift card it's really fun to hear back if they used it for something special so i was mentioning how we think about the people that give us a gift card and i was thinking about a year ago this month we were spent two weeks in michigan driving around you remember we were going to stampin up was that a year ago that was a year ago is it's that so- it feels a lifetime ago and we were doing it in person it was the big convention at Stampin' Up. I was wow. being honored for my sales goal. And what we did was we went and spent two weeks. We rented a car. We went all around Michigan and Ohio meeting. And we would put out, we're going to be at this Starbucks at this time, meeting other demonstrators, customers, followers, anyone who came out to Indiana. meet us. Indiana. Indiana. Yes. Yeah. We went to all these places. It was so much fun. Every time we stopped at a Starbucks, we posted a picture of, of, of us being there with people. And then we drew a name from people that were following us. Do you remember? And we made all these gift cards. They were all Starbucks because, you know, Tim mm-hmm. used to work at Starbucks. So he has a permanent discount there. So it's awesome. And you can find one wherever you go. We go. Mm-hmm. But we would draw a name and we would send a gift card with a $5 Starbucks thing in it. A lovely holder. <laughs> to someone else so that people could vicariously kind of travel with us. That was really fun to do. It we'll was. have to do that again when we travel. I, th- I thought that was just... And that was just two years ago. One year ago. <laughs> it just seems like such a long time oh. ago. And so now it's a year later to and... To think that we could get in a plane, go to Michigan, yeah. get into a rental car, and go to all kinds of places. And meet everyone indoors, because yeah. it was yeah. November in Michigan. 
And all these states, and it was not outdoor weather. Like we we would choose to be outdoors if we could. It was November in Minnesota too. Yeah, but it, it, it was just a very fun thing to do. And now a year later, it's time for a convention again, but this year it will be virtual. It's a different world that we're living in. Another really big reason that I think Giving gift cards is great. Is it really, it's both, well, it saves you time, which you mentioned, Mm -hmm. but also keeps you on budget. Mm -hmm. Can you remember all the times we'd go shopping and you have a certain amount you're going to spend on everyone and then you find something and it's over that. And then it's the agony. I know they'd love it. Do I do this? Do we just. She's talking about me. That's not her. That's me. Do we just go over our budget and let it be? Do we try to save money on some other gifts? It's really hard. And you can just see spending gets kind of out of control, whereas. This way, it, it, it's just done. And you know what? If you save all that time from shopping, what could you do instead? On a typical year, you could still go to the mall and just walk around and browse and enjoy the time without having to rush through and wait in all the lines. and Sit and read. Yeah, sit and read and people watch. That's the kind Drink of thing coffee. we do. Sit at the coffee kiosk in the middle and, and people watch. Everyone else scurrying around. Being at home, listening to more music, just relaxing and enjoying the season. And of course, with gift cards, you can certainly... Still wrap up those gift cards. What I really love talking about is how to make giving a gift card personal. Because when you combine your lovely handmade gift card holder with the gift card, it's like a gift within a gift. Of course, you could also add a little token gift. Some people I know do that. And then they... Give me an example. Oh, like a little thing with four chocolates. Wouldn't that be fun? And yes. then a lovely, nice little box. And you've got your mm-hmm. gift card attached or in a little wrap. We actually are doing... Uh, not, you know, I have a monthly online class. This was just a good time to mention this because it's only $15 a month when you join as a club member. But this month it is all about making eight different styles of gift card wraps. Some are cards, some are wraps, all kinds of different things to make it special. What's really fun about these classes, it's kind of like a mini weekend retreat because we spend Friday night together and twice on Saturday. I share a pattern, a design, and then everyone else posts what they make out of it. So you don't see just my idea, but everyone's sharing their own. And you never need to buy any supplies. Use what you have. Use your own papers, embellishments, stamps. And that's why they all turn out so different. And I just love the the community. We laugh together. We talk together. And it is a fun little break. Right now is a good time to be thinking about gift card holders. So we thought that that would be really fun. And then my parting comments. Yes. Yes. And you'll have something to say about this. Do you still think (laughs) it's not personal enough? The very, very best way to make something personal. Just make a card. It's to write a letter. Oh, yes. Oh. Put the message in there about how important they are to you and why. Tell a story. Who's a good letter writer? I am. Yes, you are a good letter writer. And... You know, when he gets letters, he struggles with reading now, but he brings them to me and I read those letters. You keep those letters, you read them over again, and you'll say, read this to me so I can enjoy hearing the whole thing. That's kind of a lost art, but I think, you know what? That is the most special thing we could ever do. That would far outweigh what the gift is. I've saved letters from 50 years ago. So just think, no one is really ever disappointed to get a gift card. And no. And no one would ever be disappointed to receive a nice letter, a really and sweet a beautiful letter. Card. Yeah. And a beautiful done thing. So mm-hmm. make this a fun Christmas by using your creativity to make up fun little packages like this. And maybe someone comes to mind this year. I'm just thinking that that wouldn't typically be on your list, but someone that would be really a great time to send them a gift card for groceries or for something else in need and to let them know how much they mean to you. It's a wonderful idea. Okay. So you're going to do that? Yes. Okay. That's wonderful. (laughs) I'm going to start with you. But, you know, I think it'd be a fun thing to take on. Let's think of four different people in our lives. I mean, I'm thinking, and let's encourage others to do that. And we're not going to name who they are, but just for us, (laughs) I mean, (laughs) publicly, but I'm just saying to think about who wouldn't be on your list but who it would be really special to dear son. what a difference in you made in my life anonymous no but i think that would make christmas really special and by the way if you have kids or work with kids or nieces and nephews it would be a fun thing to share with them 
and teach them to do the same. But thanks for listening. Have a wonderful week. And if you are interested in what I talked about, there will be a link in the description. You can just check out what we do. Thanks. Goodbye.